I am Dr. Nanda Rajneesh. I am an oncosurgeon and practice in Apollo Spectra Hospitals in Kormangla. So, multiple fibroadenoma in the breast is a part of a disease called ANDI, A N D I, aberration in normal development and involution, also called fibrocystic disease of the breast. To know this disease, we have to know the anatomy of the breast. Breast has got lobules, ducts, and interlobular fat cells. So when these lobules and ducts have some amount of hormonal imbalance, they lead to clumping of the breast tissue in the form of cyst and lobular formation and fibroadenoma formation. There is a multiple fibroadenomas in the breast. That means there is a tremendous amount of hormonal imbalance on the breast. It could be a fluctuating hormone, it could be a normal hormone, but it may be one time less, one time more and it could be one time normal hormones. So this can lead to clumping and nodular formation of the breast tissue. It is also associated with polycystic ovarian disease and fibroids in the uterus also. So that means overall in these women hormonal imbalance is developed. So now in these women whenever they come to us clinically because I see a lot of these patients when they come to my table I first try to check what are the issues in this woman overall including her uh, cyclical periods and including her fibroid uterus if she has got if she has got polycystic ovarian disease if she has got obesity and along with fibroadenomas so even if i excise one fibroadenoma or even if i excise all fibroadenomas she is likely to develop more fibroadenomas in the breast so if they are 16 millimeters in size that is less than 3 centimeters in size normally we do not remove these fibroadenomas unless they are causing severe pain in the breast any individual fibroadenoma if it is causing pain or if it is located near the ducts and lobules then it might require removal of these lumps otherwise we don't have to remove and we have to find out cause for this fibroadenoma that needs to be treated in a manner that these fibroadenomas do not increase in size so ultimately overall treatment of these injuries comes into the picture.